My name is Razak Ivory. I'm a writer and also a poet. I'm a performance poet as well. Protect Nigeria is um, a group that was formed by Friends of Nigeria. Friends of Nigeria are simply people, anyone, you, me, who care about Nigeria and who care about Nigeria moving forward. So these days, what we have now, um, we have a lot of confusion concerning what we are supposed to be doing, our duties, our responsibilities as citizens of this country. That's why you have a major confusion. Protect Nigeria is there to streamline things so that we get the maximum benefits from this protest that is coming up. Now, for instance, uh, our first step is to make sure that, is to, is to see how we can have um, a shoreline between the government and the people, thereby seeing if we can at first come to a dialogue where the, the um, young people of the country and uh, senior citizens of the country will sit down uh, in one uh, divide and the other divide will have the government. Look, if we have 2,000 demands, it comes under one umbrella. You use the word now, sacrifice. If we are going to sacrifice Everyone must be seen to be sacrificing something. Five key points. One, peace. The first thing we must do is embrace peace. The second thing we must do is to be patient and listen. We're going to put demands in place and we, we, we have to listen. Third thing we must do is to be law abiding. As we go at, uh, about the business of protesting, we have to be law abiding. Not everyone is going to agree to our, our mind, mindset, you know, so we have to be law abiding. The fourth thing we have to do is to, to you know, do away with that rage that a lot of people are coming with. That needs to stop. It is not a protest of rage. It is a protest of peace. And the last and the final thing to do which is the core values of Protect Nigeria, is to protect the interests of Nigeria, whatever that is, as responsible citizens. We have aligned our allegiance with the security forces and we have let them know that it is a peaceful protest. And therefore, we need their safeguarding. So, the uh, security, uh, the police, the military, or whomever is covering the event is for us to protect good Nigerian citizens. So, that arrangement has been made and met. And um, the response from the security agencies has been very, very um, encouraging you know it, it, it's a it's um, a settled agreement if everybody behaves themselves security will behave uh, th their selves uh, as well there's an ag agreement that look responsible citizens are going to be protected and their views are going to be aired and heard so um, everything else um, uh, uh, and of course, Protect Nigeria, like I said, is like uh, the coordinating group on ground. We are going to be, um, you know, helping to at least, you know, show people, you know, the, the, uh, the mode of operation on how we're going to collectively uh, speak our minds instead of in, in that confusion where you have people running helter-skelter. And, uh, you know, because of one trouble, they, you know, behind somewhere. So it's going to be very coordinated and we're going to be out there to, to make sure, you know, we, we do have our plans.